Hello there. I was trying to make a video today about, um, you know, spirituality or inspired living. But you know, you notice it's super loud here. I live in a super loud street and you might relate. This is realness, super, super real life. We are now in quarantine here. You might also be in your own home. You may be watching from your bed, from, I don't know where you are. And I hope you're really doing well, my friend. All my love to you. So the theme of this video is just going to be how to stay centered in today's world, how to stay optimistic, hopeful and peaceful among all the noise and everything that's happening around. It can be overwhelming at times. So what do we do? <laughs> what do we do to find that peace within ourselves, right? Or that happiness? So what's been helping me this day is this year and yeah, 2020. It was basically trying to stay present in my body, reconnecting with my physical body and its surroundings, nature, finding joy in the little things of life, in those little pleasures. I have noticed that it's also a daily practice, that gratitude, that appreciation of what we already have, that changes everything really. Another thing I would like to share today was about creating a sacred space at home. How to be happy at home. Did you know that the space you live in is an extension of your auric field and your energy body? That is why practices as decluttering or tidying up your home are so important and create an impact, a positive impact also in your psyche, in your emotions and your thoughts. And it's not that you're just reorganizing or cleansing the physical space, but you're also doing that for your energy body, as within, so without, and vice versa. A great tip I have for you today as for how to create a more welcoming, more embracing, more beautiful space where you are. It's very simple. Uh, set up like a little table or a corner in your room, a symbolic altar that represents your connection to your essence, to your spirit guides, to what inspires you, everything you love. You can put on some pictures or candles maybe. And throughout the day, bring your awareness to this space so it reminds you of what really matters to you. And see how all our things start changing in your life. I invite you to do that today. Start today, why not? The present moment is the best moment to start something. This year is also a great opportunity to reconnect with self-care practices, um, to nourish yourself, really give yourself time and space to process everything that's going on. And if you need to take care of others, do that as well. But don't forget to refill your own cup. So that's my tip for today, to live a creative and inspired life. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.